Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part three of building a simple bot. And if you remember from last time, uh, what we did was we got uh, one single bot moving across the screen and we got it moving according to our delta x and delta y. So I don't wanna have to hard code these values in each time. I want something random that's gonna give the bot or each bot that I build kind of its own movement. So it's the movement's gonna change based on the bot and some bots are gonna be moving in an, uh, you know, a, a way that's gonna be helping them get food better. Some bots might get stuck in the corner. Uh, we don't really know, uh, but it needs to be random and it needs to be something that one is simple enough that I can you know, actually explain it and number two, it's got to be uh, something that I can break apart into uh, two pieces so that I can combine them with the other bots when I want to actually breed my bots. So when I want the, the bot one and bot two to come together and make little bot babies, I need to have something that resembles a string of information that I can cut into pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create something called a run sequence. And all this run sequence is gonna be is just a long list of movements. So each movement will come as a coordinate, and really this is just a displacement. And you might think of it as a displacement vector if you know if you're familiar with math or whatever. Uh, so like negative five ten would tell my bot from its location, wherever it happens to be, go negative five and 10 so it would move left on the x-axis and then down 10 on the y-axis now the way i'm going to run it is it's not going to move left and then down it's actually going to go straight from the point it's at down to that final position and the next one might be two and one or i could have zero and eight or i could have uh, maybe negative one and positive one and i could have a long list of these and these are going to go off for however long I want it to, and each bot is gonna have its own way to do things. So if you remember back uh, to here, when I ran the code or originally, and you noticed how some bots were would get stuck in the corner, and then some bots would wander in the middle, and some bots will just like get stuck against the wall and never move again. And you got this kind of weird action here where the bots bouncing across the wall I have a feeling it's eventually gonna get stuck in the corner but this is the whole idea is you're creating a whole bunch of different creatures that do different things they interact with the world in a different way and you can make that very easily just by creating a random sequence of movements and we're gonna create this run sequence and every bot is also gonna have uh, run sequence I length okay. and to make these a bit more random I'm gonna import random integer and the run sequence length is gonna vary between 1 and 100 so some bots will have a run sequence length of one. So they might only go one direction and then get stuck against the wall forever. Other bots will have up to a hundred sequences. And those sequences could be quite complex and the bot will go through each one. And then when it gets done, it'll restart back at the beginning. Okay, so it's a pretty simple concept, but actually you can take a simple concept and create complexity out of it and that's the whole idea is just take something really simple to make it look really complex like when you look at something like a fractal a fractal follows a really simple rule and every fractal is a little bit different but for the most part it's actually pretty simple math you just repeat that over and over and over again and that's kind of what we're going to be doing so we're going to first do that uh, create the sequence and the sequence length then I'm going to set max distance, and that's also going to be a random integer, 1 to 100. And the last variable I'm going to set is run 
sequence count. And we'll use this one a little bit later. Uh, the three ones we're going to use here is the sequence, the run sequence length, and the max distance. So that max distance will be the furthest that the the displacement will take it either in the x or the y direction. Right, and then we're going to make here, we're going to call self.createRun sequence. And let's go ahead and define create run sequence. And I'm going to say count is equal to zero. And then I'm going to loop through. And while it's less than the run sequence length, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set, I could do this all and, and just append it, but I think this looks a little cleaner. So random int minus self dot max distance and self dot max distance. So this will give us uh, either in the negative direction, the max distance or the positive direction for our delta X and our delta Y negative once again and self dot max distance. Okay, so this delta x is different than this delta x. This is just a temporary variable inside this loop. And we're gonna say uh, if delta x is not equal to zero or delta y is not equal to zero, then we can add this. Now, the reason we don't we don't want zeros in both of these is because later on we're actually going to be taking the distance between one point to the other and if you have a delta value that has no change in it then you're finding the distance between an object and itself which will give you uh, give you an error it'll crash because you can't you can't calculate that you can't find the square root of zero okay so in this case uh, run sequence dot append and I need to do delta x and delta y and then I'm gonna up my count okay alright so this will create our run sequence when we create our bot and we can go ahead and we can just test this out and we can print out our run sequence so we can see what it looks like Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. Run our bot here. We got an error. Oh, that was silly. Just random it. There we go. And I got another one while oh, my count. There we go. Okay, so this isn't going to change yet because we're not actually moving it in the direction of our points, our displacements, but we can see right here that this bot has a number of different displacement values and they're all over the place from negatives to positives big and small this one's one negative 24 and so on and we're not just going to create one bot but we're going to create hundreds of bots and we're going to run each one and each one's going to have its own unique run sequence all right so this is our genetic code here. I didn't call it genetic code, I called it a run sequence, but you can call it a gene sequence if you want. And later on, when we're breeding these guys, we're gonna take one and we're gonna pick a point somewhere in here, and then we'll cut it, and then we'll append the first part of the list and the last part of the list, and we'll switch them around so that the best parts, hopefully, of bot one and bot two, whatever we're breeding together, will end up being shared and those bots will be better able to find the food that's on the screen. Okay, so in this lesson we did our genetic code. In the next lesson we're going to actually work on making the, the bot move in, according to the rules here. Alright, so if you have questions leave them in the comment section or on the Left Peel website and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and see you next video.